What do you think is the most terrifying substance in the world? When it comes to humans, many things in the cosmos are terrifying. It is scary enough that we're dwelling on a feverishly spinning ball of slowly crystallizing minerals that are dancing around a nuclear explosion, plummeting through the galactic space's depth. Not only that, it's devastating to know that our beautiful stars are not the innocent twinklers we see in our night skies, but nuclear fireballs that will one day die and rip themselves apart in the process in explosions that would destroy an enormous part of the cosmic landscape. The emptiness of space is also nothing but a thickening cloud of bio-damaging radiation, from gamma and x-rays that cook slowly to ultra-high energy particles that rip through matter like relativistic slashes spawned by the extremities of physics. Strange matter, on the other hand, is the scariest of all these horrors. So what is strange matter and what would it take for it to spread throughout the planet? Is strange matter something out of fan fiction or is it actually real? And if it is real, is our planet safe from it? Strange matter is the universe's most deadly substance found at the center of neutron stars. As far as theories go, two neutron stars were gravitationally hooked onto one another in one of the most violent events known in the universe, resulting in a cosmic dance in which massive forces dragged them together and twisted their previously clean, round bodies into gnarled and oblong shapes. There were just milliseconds to spare before their crusts broke free and one of the stars burst into bloody chaos. While the larger star grew heavier, its contents formed a spiral around it. In the process of absorbing the super-dense material from the erupting star, it increased in size and mass until it could no longer resist gravity. A black hole eventually swallows up the star, paving way for a new, dark, sucking sphere. Material that isn't scraped into the black hole circled in a fast-moving torus that stretches hundreds of kilometers. Scientists speculate that a harmful and unexpected substance could have been expelled into the universe during one of these occurrences. And that is strange matter. There is the possibility that it is already here on Earth, preserved in our oceans or buried in Arctic meteorites. The strange matter idea was birthed in the 1970s by scientists who questioned what would happen if protons and neutrons were crushed super hard. Strange matter is thought to be the only sort of quark capable of being stable and, when clustered together, they produce an unbreakable material that is impossible to break apart. This unusual substance acts as a pathogen, infecting and transforming normal matter into something else entirely. A lump of strange matter has an insatiable appetite for neutrons and grows fat by eating them, said physicist Edward Fahey. In other words, anything that comes into contact with the boundary of strange matter would be devoured by it, transformed at a subatomic level until the regular matter itself becomes strange. It has the potential to transform everything it comes into contact with into quark matter. Protons and neutrons would disintegrate and combine with the remainder of the unusual stuff, releasing more energy and spreading further. The strange matter hypothesis was created by Bodmer and Witten and referred to as such. Strange matter can only be disposed of by sending it into a black hole, if this is true. However, will it even be enough to protect us from the threat? The strange matter was once considered to reside within neutron stars' interiors. These are the stars that remain after huge stellar cores have used up all of their fuel and collapsed, resulting in a plentiful supernova. At a radius of roughly six miles, electrons and protons combine to form neutrons, which have a maximum density. The interiors of neutron stars are poorly understood, but there is evidence that strange matter lurks beneath the thin crust of ions, electrons, and gas. 
Some theories imply that neutron stars may not exist at all and that every object we think is a neutron star is actually a strange star. Ordinary neutron stars should have a neutron-dominated fluid beneath their surface. This is neutronium, an enigmatic and incredibly dense element. Even a teaspoon of it would be heavier than Mount Everest. But this neutronium isn't found just anywhere. It's found at the heart of a neutron star, where enormous pressures cause neutrons to melt into quarks. After all, quarks, not neutrons, are the fundamental building blocks of matter. Because up and down quarks are among the most stable of the six quark flavors, they are found in most everyday matter. High energy events like particle accelerator experiments or cosmic rays produce the other four quark flavors, strange, charm, top and bottom. Neutrons are normally made of one up and two down quarks. However, some of these particles may undergo conversion under the severe environment of a neutron star. As the neutrons decay into quarks, half of the down quarks are transformed into strange quarks, resulting in an equal number of strange up and down quarks. Strange matter is made up of these three quarks, and it was previously assumed to have existed at the beginning of time, formed under unfathomable pressure. Even if it had to, it would have been impossible for the strange matter that formed shortly after the Big Bang to last this long. When scientists take into account the early cosmos, thermodynamics, and the expected features of strange matter, analysis indicates time and time again that strange matter would have evaporated when conditions cooled, lasting only a second after the Big Bang explosion. Strange matter does not constitute a convincing dark matter candidate because of this evaporation. Then, the only location to look for strange matter would be in the cores of so-called neutron stars. Therefore, it is said that the only way strange matter can spread is if two neutron stars with a strange core collide and release a huge number of strange droplets known as strangelets. Strangelets could be as dense as the center of a neutron star and range in size from subatomic to the size of a rocket. These strangelets would travel across space for millions of years before colliding with another star or planet. If the hypothesis that strange matter is infectious is correct, it will begin converting whatever it comes into contact with into strange matter. All atoms and quarks on a rock planet would become strange quarks if a strangelet came in touch with it and the planet would be reduced to the size of an asteroid-sized clump of strange matter. If the same thing happened to a star, it would collapse into a strange star. The star would not lose any mass, but it would shrink and produce less heat and radiation as a result. Many mysteries surrounding the origin of the universe may be solved if it is proven that these strangelets formed shortly after the Big Bang. Given that escaping from a black hole is the only object more difficult than escaping from a neutron star, it would appear that strange matter is contained in a safe area where it cannot infect the universe. But in a variety of scenarios, just like in movies like Prison Break, strange matter could make a daring escape possible. Some neutron stars have companions of the same type, and when two neutron stars collide, the result is one of the most violent events in the history of the universe. Gravitational waves, distortions in reality, originate from these collisions and can be detected on Earth because of the massive energy unleashed. This is the most likely scenario for strange matter to break free from its containment. Strangelets, fragments of strange matter ejected at high velocity by the collision, can fly through space like poison darts. As was said earlier, if one of these strangelets collides with a star or a planet, a Midas-like reaction would transform all ordinary matter into a ball of strange matter in seconds, endlessly crushing the damaged object. This reaction would then produce more strangelets, which would scatter in all directions, resulting in a chain reaction. It's only a matter of time before all of the universe's objects, including that of Earth, 
become infected and turn into strange matter. Any neutrons that come into contact with this strange quark matter will desire to switch over to the ideal state of matter. Strange matter is more stable and dense, and stars produced from it have the potential to outlast everything else. All of these characteristics are appealing to ordinary matter that they won't be able to resist the temptation to turn. To lower its energy, a neutron would have to disintegrate to release its quarks if it were to enter strange matter. In terms of stability, this lower energy state may be the most stable energy source in the cosmos. In the process of neutrons and protons being absorbed into the strange matter, any liberated energy will be used to create additional strange matter. A speck of strange matter, traveling quickly enough, may enter a star or planet, transforming it from the inside out, developing like a bacterial culture that keeps eating. This is one of the most shocking images of the Earth's demise. An unending stream of strange matter slamming into the globe, devouring it. It's for this reason that some people refer to it as the universe's most dangerous substance. However, we have no way of knowing if strange matter is stable or not. Though we've looked for it in meteorite samples on Earth and in cosmic rays, no definite detections have ever been made. Some neutron stars discovered are too small, too chilly, or associated with supernovae that were too intense and lasted too long to be it. Does that mean we are safe from strange matter? Collisions between neutron stars aren't uncommon, thus the galaxy may be littered with strange lips. But the distance between stars is so vast that a collision with a planet is quite unlikely. Similarly, while the models that predict the existence of strange quarks are sound, it is unclear whether this strange matter can exist outside of neutron stars' nuclei. Until now, the existence of strange lits has only been a theoretical concept. So, we can relax for the time being. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.